of what may be coming in the East. Taking a look at the 76ers, it's a long season, but right now they're in great position holding that prize top spot. And checking out the Hawks behind two games. Well, right now for the Hawks, they've looked rock solid this season. They just need to stay on target and prepare for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball, so that things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Allie. VA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys. But these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. And Smitty, one thing we've noticed, in an era of small ball, some teams are going big again. They are, B.A. It's all about matchups and creating mismatches. You like to have the personnel for every situation. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. Collins at the four with Capella at center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Reddish in at the three spot. And for Philadelphia, the dynamic duo of Harris and Embiid at the four and five. Curry and Green, the two and the three. And it's Russell in at the point. Harris against Collins. Pass to Bogdanovich. And he... Carries his first look. I like that Collins playing under control, reading the floor. Nice setup there. Curry with it, and Capella picks him up defensively. Outside Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it. One for one to start the game. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Picked by Bogdanovich. Young on the attack. Launches a three. Bogdanovich, no good. Outside, Green. Pass to Curry. Now Embiid. Screen by Embiid. The 11-footer. That's up a three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Reddish. Collins outside. The Hawks need to get one up here. Bogdanovich from long range. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Yeah, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Embiid. He had 25 points in his last game. Outside Curry. There's the drive. Play clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. And then Embiid with the dunk. It's all about getting ideal positioning. Once Embiid gets it, the D is toast. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end 
there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. Curry gets the bucket. Defensively, have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Collins outside. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Bogdanovich, no good. And many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. Young. And Embiid with the block. A menace on the defensive end. Embiid's reach disrupts your offense. Here's Bogdanovich. In his last outing, he had 11 points. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Pass to Harris. Here's Embiid, guarded by Capella. Releases from 15. Capella with a block. What a block by Clint Capella. Flying in with those long arms for the no, no, no. Young against Russell. Unloads from 13. And it comes off the front of the rim. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Pass to Green. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Bogdanovich. Shoots over Curry. Rebounded by Green. Philadelphia has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Harris finds Russell. Embiid a screen on Young. Russell with the ball. Picked up by Collins. And Clint Capella picks up the foul. That's his first, That's his first foul, foul of the game. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Russell. Outside for Green. The three is up. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. The Hawks have gone three of eight to get things underway. Here's Reddish. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the lock. He's first using his athleticism. Reddish fights through the foul and managed to put up the shot. For Atlanta, Cameron Reddish at the line for two. Watching Cam Reddish, I see all-star level potential. It's going to be interesting to track his development because he's still establishing his identity. Good on both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Pass to Russell. will take it the other way. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's never easy to win games when you're missing free throws. They had to be better. Especially on the road. Each miss fired up that crowd even more. Now here's Bogdanovich. Seven points in the game. Four on the clock. Stolen by Russell. Fast break Philadelphia. Here's Harris. The Sixers with another miss. The Hawks trailing. Reddish. And it's blocked by Embiid. Green up top. Russell against Young. Screen by Embiid. Lays it up and banks it in. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Collins with a screen on Russell. Young, the pass to Collins. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. The 76ers have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. 
Pass to Embiid. Now here's Harris. Guarded by Young. Fades. Atlanta with a rebound. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And you know you're going up against a team that has revenge on the brink. Besting them in the conference semis last year. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley-oop partner. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Thibel comes in for Green. Milton's checked in for Curry. And it's Maxi in for Russell. gets the ball there. You expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Pass to Okongwu. Come on, fuck him up. Over Drummond. Okongwu, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Now here's Thibault. Harris against Gallinari. Williams with it. Clock at six. Gallinari with a screen. And it's Williams off the drive. Oh, Harris with the block. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. Shot clock at two. Blocked again! Outside Milton. Drummond. Screen on right. Throws it up high! And the jam by Drummond. I mean, tremendous body control in the air. Andre with the easy catch and flush. Outside, Williams. To the paint. It's stolen by Drummond. against Gallinari to the middle Maxi that's good now it's a 5.76 ers lead all right let's get your team guys on the hustle stats for Philadelphia their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far they have the heat turn all the way up in this first half. and another area where they've been on point is defending the rim a lot of blocks for the first two quarters a low man in star Harris gives you the greatness without the ego. Really, a coach's dream. William shot is Ooh. good. Using his athleticism in the paint, Lou beats everyone to the punch. Pass to Drummond. 
inside Milton. Rejected by a Kongu. Right side, Williams shoots over Maxi. Drummond grabs the miss. And because of his versatility, Grant, Harris can play alongside anyone in any lineup. In my well, I agree, B. I mean, big wing players who can shoot have never been more valuable. Harris can stretch you out. He can go back to the basket, and he can run the floor. Perfect night so far. Two for two. That's what 7 feet 280 will do for you. Takes the hit and keeps right on going. Herder up top. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The Sixers leading. Harris down low. He's covered by Gallinari. Gallinari against Harris. Shot clock at five. Offensive rebound. Milton for three. Oh, he can't sink it. He's 0 for 3. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Yep, that one goes. Against physical D, Gallinari with the improved strength and body control to finish. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade. Looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. in the game last season. Third, Danilo Gallinari. Very steady at the line. He's the guy who isn't rattled easily, and that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. And there's a minute 45 left in the opening quarter. Step back and fire. Rejected by a Kongu. Out of bounds. Atlanta will have it. Atlanta's gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Gallinari with a screen on Milton. Milton against Williams. Gallinari with a screen on Milton. Here's Williams. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Drummond's got a sixth rebound on the night. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Here's Thibault. No luck on that one. Ooh, some solid defense from Herter. Pass to right. Here's a Kung Wu, covered by Milton. Oh, and he got the foul on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. With a Yekla Kung Wu, he is an athletic big man who puts a ton of energy into his defense. Shooting for Atlanta, Onyeka Kung Wu, taking two shots.
No good on the free throw. Second one. 52 seconds left in the first quarter here. Pass to Harris. Back to Tybal. Left side, Milton. Let's go with a three. Rebound by the Hawks. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. That ties it up. Gallinari's gotten his second bucket of the game. With the big, strong frame of Gallinari, he's able to take contact and deliver the goods. Knocks it loose. And here is Williams. Over Milton. Williams shot is Ooh. good. He is so comfortable in this area. Something Williams relies on. The mid-range. And at the end of one. The end of the a closely quarter. contested game scored. so far. Hawks ahead. Up two. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. take advantage of you know every single day uh you know just making sure i was in the best shape of my life you know grant for a long time and beats conditioning was called into question yeah ba but not anymore but i like his focus on staying fit that could help him stay healthy in the future and we hope you're enjoying the game both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far and a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Atlanta. They're doing a great job defensively That's down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. Curry and Green, the two and the three. Joel Embiid is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Russell in at the point. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And the first one at the line is good. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court. And opponents can foul to force your hand. Both good from the line that time. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Pass to Capella. Russell against Young. Inside. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. A tremendous pick and roll option. John Collins showing great hands and explosiveness. The Sixers trailing. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Hawks went on a tear last season after naming Nate McMillan their interim head coach. After he won Eastern Conference Coach of the Month and helped guide them to the franchise's first playoff run in four seasons, it seemed inevitable that he'd become the head coach long term. Guys? Nothing new for him, Allie. Good stuff there. Joel Embiid taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. One thing that seems undeniable on the floor, off the floor, in social media, it doesn't matter. Embiid's presence looms extremely large.
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, the Hawks shooting only 39% so far in the game. Pass to Capella. Back to Young. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And the 76ers shooting a low 30% from the floor. And here's Thibel. Outside Curry. Now Embiid. Unloads for 13. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. And Embiid's got six in the quarter. And just using the size advantage he has. I mean, he can easily see over the defense. But let's also add, he has a touch from there. That's a solid shot for him. He's got a lot of Trey Young special out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes. But he maintains a high energy level all game long. One place you really see Trey Young's work Two ethic shots. shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist numbers. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. And he's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. That one's off. You know what? After finishing second in Rookie of the Year voting in 2019, Trey Young took it to another level during his sophomore campaign increasing his scoring average more than 10 points per game. He hits the second from the line. Steve Trey Young, named to the 2020 All-Star Game, the second youngest player in the NBA showcase. B.A., only Luka Doncic was younger. For that 19-20 season, Trey finished, listen to this, in the top five in multiple categories. Points, assists, three-pointers made, free throws made, Trey Young has solidified himself as an elite offensive player. Curry, no good. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Reddish. Here's Collins. Bogdanovich with it. Off target from outside. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Embiid, a screen on Young. Two points. Russell's got the second bucket on the night. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. He's not the guy you expect to pull that off. And he's going for the oop here. And Collins with the slam. The vision of Trey Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. Outside, green. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Capella. Capella with a block. Young against Russell. Outside Bogdanovich. And that misses. That would have come up. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Stolen by Young. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Collins with a screen on Curry. Collins outside. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Embiid. Now here's Green. And here's Embiid. They rejected by Capella. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Capella. Just five on the clock. Let's it fly. Yeah, he was really shooting the ball well at the start, but he's somehow getting less and less consistent. Pass to Young. Collins with a screen on Russell. Young from long range. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got six rebounds in the game. Outside Russell. Where was the D right there? The effort 
lacking big time. In a close game like Brilliant. this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Russell, pass to Green. Embiid inside. He's against Capella. Capella with a block. And he's able to get it back. Stolen by Young. Pass to Bogdanovich. Three-pointer, no good. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Outside hold. Curry with it. Outside Russell. Green, the pass to Embiid. And another shot. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Now here's Capella. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Back to Young. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Sixers. They defeated Detroit in their last game. And that game was all about the depth they have on this roster. Their role players stepped up when they needed it most. And a strong bench gives you the flexibility to bring someone in and exploit a certain matchup. Embiid can't hit. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. The ball's knocked loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Ball. The 2K leaderboard highlighting last season's assist leaders. Second, Trey Young. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. Now here's Collins. Tight defense on it. Six to shoot. Here's Young. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight, but his teammates have pitched in big time. Outside title. Embiid is screen on Collins. Outside title. Shoots over Collins. And it's blocked by Collins. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. Back to Young. Pass to Collins. Over Curry. Collins, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Here's Russell. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. And he'll shoot one more at the line. Angelo Russell looking at his career. He's slowly becoming a more efficient player. Learning his strengths and his limitations. And the Hawks make a change here. Akangwu checks in for Collins. Gallinari comes in for Reddish. Herders checked in for Bogdanovich. And Wright subbed in for Young. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw, no good for Russell. And for Russell, he's still a volume scorer. But now I think he's better at picking his spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Capella, screen on Russell. Here's Herger. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his eighth rebound here tonight. To the inside. Here's Herger. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the actual shooting. Milton. That's his second shake Milton. Well, this is what they want from Herger. Be assertive and make plays. Kevin Herger at the line for two.
First free throw is good. With size in the backcourt, it's such an advantage. Kevin Herter is 6'6 with a long frame. Maxi, he's checked in for the Sixers. Picks up just one from the line that time. Well, Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Oh, Room protection, points in the paint. He does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. Pass to right. There's a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul of the game. Williams has checked in for Clint Capella. Coming out to the floor for the Hawks. Lou Williams. Shooting two. And that one falls for Drummond. Well, now when you foul Drummond, he can hurt you a little bit at the line. He's much improved. second he was definitely disappointed he couldn't put his team up in front but at least he nodded this one up here's right Ooh, he took a hard to call on the shot so he'll hit the line way. to shoot a pair That's it's gonna go on Andre Drummond yeah you never Four. want to let shots at the rim go uncontested you gotta appreciate the versatility of DeLon Wright's game. He's got a good eye for setting up his teammates but he also can find his own shot at any time Drops a first, and you can also see the diverse skill set of DeLon Wright on the defensive side of the floor. Yeah, he can come up with a lot of steals, he puts pressure on ball handlers, and he manages to pull down a lot of rebounds for a guard. And so he makes both from the line. The Sixers trailing. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. Drummond, the screen on Gallinari. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul. And he'll take two free throws now. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. At the line for Philadelphia, Tobias Harris. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. 
He makes one or two that time. When you look back at the 2010s, we had some monster trades in the NBA. Danilo Gallinari was part of two of them. First in 2011, he was sent from New York to Denver in the Carmelo Anthony deal. Down low. A nice timing on the pick and roll. Williams a solid playmaker when asked to fill that role. Here's Maxi, hounded by Wright. Drummond, the screen on Gallinari. The kick out to Milton. The Sixers again can't hit. And the second major deal Gallo was part of. Smitty, the trade sending Paul George from OKC to the Clippers. Yeah, it was Gallo and SGA. Five first-round picks going from the Clips to the Thunder back in 2019. We keep seeing Danilo move in these blockbusters trades because he's a unique talent at 6'10 with a shooting ability out this world. And Maxi, here we go. And connects on the ninth footer. Here's right. 58 seconds left in the second period. Picked up by a Kongu. Williams in the post. Drummond defending. Williams misses. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Milton passes to Harris. To finish the layup. Harris has got five points in the quarter. Nice bucket. The polished inside game. Something Harris relies on. Gallinari against Green. Pass to Herder. Five on the clock to the paint. Oh, stolen by Harris. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Team is already in the penalty. At the line for Philadelphia, Danny Green. At the line for two. Shooting two. the first. A prototype 3 and D guy. Green's focused on becoming a more complete player. Part of that is becoming more consistent from the free throw line. And both free throws good for Green. There's 10 seconds left to play in the half. Now Williams. Three-pointer. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's all target. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Sixers ahead. They lead by three. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Joel, you hold the lead now, but how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just to keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. A lot of times, defense leads to offense. Thanks, Joel. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Hey, everybody. First off, let's take a gander at what's been happening on the trading block. And always a whirlwind of change when you're sent packing in a trade. Uh, Kenny, you were traded twice in your career. Wait, twice? That's it? No, no, no. Yeah, it, it really was just once because that trade was supposed to keep going to Houston. But I finally got to Houston. So, yes, I got traded to Atlanta, then to Houston. But I was never supposed to stop in Atlanta. It's a long story, Shaq. Don't worry. Well, I thought it would have been way more times than that. <laughs> And now let's look at how Joel Embiid played in that first half. I'd say incredible. You know, guys, he's reminding me of myself, a true R-butter. And if you don't know what that stands for, I'll tell you. 
can't tell you because I just made it up, but it sounds good. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Sixers leading on the court for the Hawks in the backcourt. Young and Bogdanovich. Collins at the four with Capella at center. And it's Reddish in at the small forward position. The kick out. Curry drops him the three. Curry's got six points. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Collins outside. from long range. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And a quick pause here. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and check out last season's best shot blocker. The line for like Capella, third. It's obvious on that he completely Rome. dedicated himself Taking to protecting the rim. Doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. Two shots. That's on the first. First one falls. No good on the second free throw. The Hawks trailing. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Capella. The shot, no good. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Bogdanovich against Curry. Pass to Russell. Good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his third assist of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Young. Good. Trey Young's Young. got his second basket on the night. You have to admire Young's determination and toughness. He's not just a perimeter threat. Curry against Bogdanovich. Hey, rejected by Capella. Pass to Reddish. And there's the foul. It's foul. on Joel and B. Joel and B. That's his first foul That's of the game. First, the first 76ers foul. making a switch here. Bible's checked in. Coming up to the fourth here, Sixer. Masif Bible. Here's Capella. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. Played it in with a nice oh, touch off the window. Bogdanovich has got nine. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Russell pass to Harris. Embiid with it. Ten points for him. For a guy over seven feet in beach jump shot is ridiculously sweet. So unfair for the team. Young with it, now guarded by Harris. And it's blocked by Thibault. Oh, love the intensity once they're hitting the boards. Pass to Harris. Outside Russell. Back to Harris. B from downtown. Atlanta with a rebound. Collins has got eight rebounds in the game. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet they continue to lead. Outside Curry.
pass to Embiid. Over Bogdanovich. Embiid missing again. The Hawks have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Bogdanovich passes to Collins. Now here's Young. Here's Reddish. Collins outside. Now Bogdanovich. The three is up. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got four rebounds now. Pass to Russell. Jacks up a three. That one doesn't drop. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Here's Embiid. Outside Russell. Back to Embiid. Shoots over Collins. And another miss by Philadelphia. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically, centers that live in the paint on both ends of the floor, guys who rack up rebounds and get in buckets. Clint Capella the might be the Russell. best in the league at rim That's running. His first An outstanding defensive play to Second earn the mobile five. one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Facing Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And on Wednesday, they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Bogdanovich against Curry. There's Young with the three, and the three pointer goes. Three point. Young's gotten his third basket of the night. This is becoming routine, knocking down shots from well beyond the arc, and he makes it look effortless. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Reddish. Pass to Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Curry. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. And that one drops. Capella's got his first two points. The intimidator himself. Capella's not shying away from a little contact. And Philadelphia calls time here. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. All right, fans, on your feet, make some noise. Who wants the chef? All right, coming out to the court right now, it's your Sixers and team.
There's been some changes. Milton's checked in for Tybal. And it's Maxi in for Curry. Herders checked in for the Hawks. Trey Young, he's right the there to the collect the rebound Trey and Young. send it back. Shooting one. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game What's has up? been going for Atlanta. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Another thing, they've not only caused a bunch of turnovers tonight, they've turned most of them into points. You know, the rise of Trey Young here in the league has been nothing short of fantastic. Every season, he just continues to improve on himself and outdo his previous best. And Maxi, here we go. Ooh, some solid defense from Herter. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Out to the right wing. Outside Young. Bellinari with a screen. Philadelphia has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Pass to Maxi. Shoots over Collins. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. And the Hawks shooting a disappointing 38%. Here's Reddish. Main covering. Unloads from 13. Reddish misses. And for the 76ers, they're shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Milton passes to Green. Here's Embiid. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. At the moment Embiid gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Line for Too strong here. to stop without foul. Joel Embiid. Two shots. Free throw drops for Embiid. So for the Hawks, Akangu checks in for Collins. Wright comes in for Reddish. And Williams is subbed in for Trey Young. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. They're ahead for now, but that miss could come back to bite them. To the inside. Right outside. Pass to Williams. For the lead! And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. So do you think of all the six man of the year awards Lou Williams has? the ultimate bench shooting for Atlanta. You know Lou embraced Lou. that role early on That's in his career. Two. Saw the value of coming in, looking for shots with the second unit. He's made a career doing what he does best. Shooting two. Ties it up. And a 
this next one could give him the lead. Another thing coaches love about Williams, he's a high percentage free throw shooter who gets to the line often. Andre Drummond has checked in for Harris. the free throw drops in for him. Philadelphia has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Here's Maxi. The Sixers with another miss. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Gallinari, the pass to right. Outside, Williams. And he lobs it up. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Let's it fly from 18. A nice shot by Bobos. Milton's got his first basket. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the 76ers? They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnover they've balls. You also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim as they challenged every shot and blocked quite a few tonight. It's stolen by Wright to the middle. Here's a Congo. And that one is stuffed oh, yeah. right through. Oh, These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Pass to Embiid. Looking to get back on track. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. As you've seen, they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Here's Williams. And Embiid with the block. Outside, Green. Embiid, a screen on Gallinari. Green, the pass to Embiid. And it's good. Two points. Embiid's got 15 points. The veteran presence of Danny Green, keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Here's Williams. Pulls it down. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Milton passes to Drummond. Two minutes to the court. Walked away. Right with a steal. One forty-nine left in the third quarter. And that's a foul. Called on DeLon Wright. That's his that first foul. A great job to establish position and square off. The Hawks making a switch here. Collins checked in. John Collins. The Sixers leading. Here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi. Milton with it. Williams defending. Embiid, a screen on Williams. Here's Milton on the take. Tough touch off the glass. Milton's got four points in the quarter. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Herder with it. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his second. He's going to go on. Drummond. Team foul. Shooting for Atlanta, Kevin Herter. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. from the line this time. So it's Philadelphia now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And, call and Philadelphia call. calls time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. All right, coming up to the court right now, it's your Sixers. 
Held by Joel Embiid. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. It's the fourth quarter. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Green and Harris the forwards. Seth Curry is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Drummond in at the pivot spot. And in the middle. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Curry passes to Drummond. Now Russell. Let's a great fly. That one falls. Coming off a drum and feed. The 76ers lead by six. Love what Drummond did on that play. Kept his eyes up, and he was being unselfish. And he's going for the lob. And Collins with the slam. That gives him a double double. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, BA. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. 
Russell against Young. Russell, that's good. Russell's got five points in the quarter. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Collins with a screen on Russell. Oh, Drummond with a block. Andre Drummond with the wingspan of seven foot six. It's going to be hard to get it over him. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. At the line for the Hawks, Trey Young. At the line for two. Shooting two. Three throws good. Young. Them both. <laughs> They've definitely made free throws look easy here in the second half. Drummond to screen on Young. Russell to pass to Drummond. Off foul. Cameron Reddy. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. Play about a minute and a half off the clock. Here's Russell. Stolen by Young. I'll tell you what, terrific anticipation defensively. Tracked it all the way. That pass had no chance. The Sixers leading. Drummond the screen on Capella. Russell with the ball. And it's Young picking him up. Drummond, high post. He's against Capella. Hey, rejected by Capella. Reddish on the wing. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Sixers ball. The 76ers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Drummond, the screen on Young. Russell, the pass to Drummond. Outside for Green. Drummond against Young. And there's Drummond. That one's good. On the assist by Curry. They're leveraging one of their best assets. Drummond's dominance inside. Collins with a screen on Russell. Here's Young. And the shot's good. Trey Young. Young's got 11 in the second half. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Drummond, the screen on Young. Capella against Russell. Pass to Curry. Six on the shot clock. And he gets the bucket. Drummond's got four points this quarter. Taking a hit, completing the play. Drummond with the excellent body control there. Now here's Bogdanovich. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half, now has his second. Curry passes to Russell. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. With the kiss. And the 76ers lead by five. They have no answer defensively inside. Young, the pass to Collins. Pass to Bogdanovich. Collins outside. Capella, screen on Russell. Here's Reddish. No good on the triple. with the ball. The kick out, Curry. Atlanta with the rebound. Capella.
Dallas got rebound number eight now. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get in the ball. For Philadelphia, they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Drummond up top. Now here's Russell. Not a lot of room. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Outside Young. Collins passes to Bogdanovich. Gets the three ball to go. The defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. The 76ers shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Curry against Bogdanovich. Here's Russell. Rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Reddish. Pass to Bogdanovich. Outside Young. For Atlanta, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. To take the lead. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Russell against Young. Russell against Young. Puts it up from 15. Again, Russell missing. Atlanta's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Green against Bogdanovich. Outside Young, up and over Russell, and too long on the shot. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Drummond the screen on Young. Russell to pass to Drummond. Harris on the wing. To the left side wing. Stolen by Young. Kicks it out to Collins. Young against Russell. Here's Collins. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Harris finds Russell. Back to Harris. Outside Curry. To Drummond with the fadeaway. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. To tie it up. Young misses. The 76ers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Now Harris. Here's Drummond. The Sixers with another miss. The Hawks trailing. Now here's Young. Collins with a screen on Russell. Collins outside. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. Curry passes to Harris. to Russell. Trying to get back on track. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Russell against Young. There's Bogdanovich with the three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Drummond's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Seth Curry taking two shots. Two shots. Last on the first.
And he knocks down the first one. So Curry nails both of them. Atlanta's gone two of six so far in the fourth. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. striking distance this is where we take over and turn this game into our favor let's go get it thank you for that Allie fourth quarter and it's a close game you want to get the ball to someone you can rely on
the 76ers have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Drummond, the screen on Young. Russell, the pass to Drummond. Out to Harris. Four on the clock. On the arc. They get it back. Drummond. The line for Philadelphia, Andre Drummond. One shot. One shot. One shot. And that one misses. The Hawks trailing. Defending. Here's Russell. Drives to the hoop. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. Look at the anticipation right there. The leg of the steal. Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Puts it up from 12. Young misses. Philadelphia has gone two or three from the on the arc here in the fourth. Drummond up top. Shot is good off the backboard. An impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Russell, the pass to Harris. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Over Capella. Harris' shot is good. And the 76ers lead by 13. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Finds the open look and it's on target. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, they never really felt like they would come out on top. Please drive on. Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Tobias, congratulations on the win. Do you sense this team is building good chemistry? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is us continuing to find our identity. Uh, and what we are learning is we're a great team once we get stops and once we're able to run, get out of transition. Uh, we just continue to find each other's similarities and our personalities as we play together. Guys, as the year goes on, they continue to get closer. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Andre Drummond.